All right, this is take two because I just put it in the edit and there's no sound because I used the wrong chord because I'm a f Okay, I'm not really teaching again. What I mean by that is thank you for participating in my quarantine book club that I had live on this channel a couple of weeks ago. It really made me feel like I was back in the classroom in the best way possible, which I didn't even know I wanted. I quit teaching on purpose for lots of reasons, but this was a lot of fun for me. This was the part of teaching that I missed. I had a pretty steady viewership for the whole hour of about 25 people, so it was essentially just like teaching a regular class like I used to. I loved it. I got to talk a lot. You got to write in your thoughts or questions or answer my questions. And the good news for those who enjoyed it or those who wish they had participated but weren't able to is that I'm doing it again. My new quarantine book club selection is going to be announced at the end of this video. But first, I want to show you my new affiliate bookstore on bookshop.org. A bunch of people have asked me either in the comments of my videos or in my Twitter DMs where they can find my book recommendations, specifically a list of all the books that I've talked about on my channel. So I've put all of the books I've mentioned in my videos on this page. Bookshop is an online bookstore that donates a percentage of their profits to local independently owned bookstores. You can read all about that on their about page. They also have a map to help you find independent bookstores near you so you can order directly through them without even needing to go through Bookshop. To be completely transparent, as a Bookshop affiliate, I get a small cut of sales made through my storefront, but all of those proceeds will go towards more books or ways to improve this channel or, if I'm lucky, burritos. Before I found out about Bookshop, I was using Amazon affiliate links in a lot of my previous videos, but Amazon sucks. I'm done. For a little taste of why I'm done with Amazon, check out some of these news articles I've seen over the last couple of weeks. Here's one saying that Amazon warehouse workers aren't informed when co-workers test positive for COVID-19, which potentially makes them unknown vectors for the disease as they bring it home to their families. Here's another story about Amazon firing a warehouse worker who led a strike to fight for worker protections. And here's a story about how Jeff Bezos, already the richest man in the world, made $24 billion so far during the pandemic on the backs of his employees who work in unsafe conditions. This combination was the last straw for me. I'm done with them. Moving on. For now, the best way to get your books is still through your local library. Get in touch with them and see if they have electronic services, like getting a virtual library card or renting their eBooks or audiobooks. That's still a great way to support your local library. The next best is to contact your local independent bookstore directly. You can use the map on bookshop.org to find out which bookstores are open nearest you. Give them a call. If they're taking orders, still go through them for sure. But if your local store isn't taking orders, try bookshop.org. The link in the description below will take you to my affiliate storefront where you can see all the books I've talked about or recommended in my videos in the past, as well as the next book selection for my quarantine book club, The Memory Police by Yoko Ogawa, which we will be discussing live on this channel on June 30th at 7 p.m. Central. If you want an idea of what that's going to be like, click here to see a video of my last book club discussion. Up here, maybe? It could be over here. Maybe over here. It's either here or here. Click in one of these places. Click there. I think it's here. It might be there. The Memory Police was a 2019 National Book Award finalist and was longlisted for the 2020 International Booker Prize. It's about a young novelist fighting against the oppressive state surveillance squad known as the Memory Police, which forces residents of an island community to forget their pasts. It gets excellent reviews and should make for a great book club discussion. To make sure you're in the loop about all future quarantine book club selections, as well as to see what else I'm reading and recommending, make sure you subscribe to this channel and click the little bell so that you get notifications when I post a new video. If you're super bored, and I mean bored out of your mind, you just want something to be playing in the background as you do other stuff on your laptop, subscribe to my new second channel, which is basically just me playing video games badly and getting really angry about it. Go pick up The Memory Police, read it over the next month or so, then come back here on June 30th at 7 p.m. Central to have a conversation about it. Make sure to stop by periodically to see what else I'm reading and recommending. And that's, uh, that's about it. Okay. <laughs>